Ronald Koeman and Pep Guardiola first came together in early 1990. Johan Cruyff, then their manager at Barcelona, asked the senior player of the two, a European Championship winner with Holland and European Cup winner too, to take the young graduate of La Messiah under his wing. From the outset, Ronald and Pep were not only Barcelona roommates, they were firm friends. It starts because I, I was playing in, in the first team of Barcelona and Pep was, uh, was a younger player, a ta talent player from, from Barca B in that time. And, uh, but we had a really, from, from the start, a really good, good, good understanding. He played in, in the position in front of mine, and, and of course, and, uh, and the coach at that time, Johan Cruyff, said, OK, it's, uh, it's, you can learn a lot from Kuman, and you're still young, and you need, a lot, you need to learn a lot uh, about him, about football, and uh, how you have to handle everything in, in, in professional life. Pep would pepper Ronald with questions about one-touch football, positional play, manoeuvring in tight spaces and finding out everything there was to know about the way Cruyff wanted his Barca to play the beautiful game. I switch, I should in that time switch off the light before I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, when he need water, wake up to water for him. And uh, I was the youngest, so I adapt to, to him. Now he was a real, not just roommate, because in that time we sleep uh, together, and, but you got in a sense two teammates in one room and we spent a lot of time and he was so generous. He, uh, not, not only on the pitch, off the pitch as well, and I learned. I learned a lot just looking at him, how good he is. Of the many days and nights they shared together, their greatest moment came in May 1992 at Wembley, when Ronald Koeman, scored the only goal against Sampdoria and Barca won the European Cup for the first time. I think it was one of the first central defenders uh, with the quality not just to defenders. I think uh, Johan Cruyff uh, bought Ronald Koeman for show us, for teach us uh, why we need a central defender like Ronald. Uh, it's one of the few guys I never I never saw felt or miss an important game. In important, important games, always, I always I saw him playing good. Always. I never saw him play a, a, a bad, bad game in the important games, the Champions League and against Real Madrid, against uh, big, important games. That was the big, big talent. Most of the quality was the hill build up. It was amazing, long balls. It was 40 meters in, in a quick ball. So one, one of the best by far one of the best central defenders I ever met in my life. When they encountered one another as managers for the first time, three months ago at the Etihad, the Everton manager described Pep's Manchester City as the best team he had ever managed against. But Everton's resilience on the day, exemplified by a stunning goalkeeping performance by Martin Stecklenburg and a goal by Romelu Lukaku, ensured that the teams and managers shared the spoils. We know uh, City uh, play fantastic football. We knew we don't get uh, a lot of the ball today, but, uh, but we had a great defending, great organisation in the team. We expect them uh, with three defenders. We took a little risk in the beginning to start with three strikers, but we missed somebody on the midfield and, and, and we did not control the game. Uh, great. Teamwork, great uh, work rate of all the players and, and, and of course you need uh, a b the best goalkeeper in your life uh, <laughs> and it was today and, and, but the whole team worked so hard to get a good result and, uh, and you need to be a little bit lucky uh, of course, of course, but uh, we, did, we did that by ourselves and, uh, and that was the reason that uh, we got finally one point. The point about Ronald and Pep, however, is that the renewal of their managerial rivalry on Sunday will not dilute their friendship, for theirs is a relationship that is like the two men, rock solid. What struck Ronald when they first met was that Pep was an ordinary down-to-earth guy who did not behave like a star because he was playing for Barcelona. He was driving a second-hand golf when he arrived in Barca's illustrious squad. And after three years in the first team, he was still driving a second-hand golf. We are really good friends and, and still now, because it's a little bit more easy now, because we live uh, close uh, to each other. He's living in, 
in Manchester. I'm living uh, outside of Manchester and, and we have really uh, that type of connect, uh, communication and, 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 and we join dinners and uh, it's grateful because uh, I like him very much.